Autobot collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Autobot Hot Rod from the Transformers Studio Series from Hasbro. So this is Hot Rod from Transformers The Last Night. You can see he is number 93 in the Studio Series. Really nice artwork of the robot mode here on the front and then kind of a close-up of the robot mode head here on this side. Spinning around over here, very similar picture on this side. Not really too much going on on the top or the bottom. And if we spin around to the back, we get some nice product shots of the robot mode and the vehicle mode. Now this is a fully licensed Lamborghini alt mode. Looks really fantastic. And then he does have a little backdrop included, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But yeah, pretty standard packaging for the Studio Series. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Here is Hot Rod with the backdrop that is included with the figure. I think it looks pretty cool. If we move him out of the way, you can see kind of a London street chase scene here. Have a car flipping over, you got a tire flying up in the air. I think it looks pretty cool, and he looks good standing in there. I always appreciate these backdrops. I definitely don't have room to display them with the backdrops, but I always think it's cool that they're included, and I think this one looks really good. Here is Hot Rod out of the packaging. I think the robot mood looks pretty good. Pretty clean, not too much kibble to speak of. You have these little wheel bits here on the forearms. They don't really get in the way of anything, but they just kind of give it like an unnecessary kind of bulky quality here. And then you have these two kind of window door pieces here that just kind of hang off the back. You can kind of fold them up like this if you like that look better. You can kind of compress them down as tight to the backpack as you want. Um, so whatever look you prefer. But the rest of the backpack really does uh, compress pretty nicely tight to the back there. So he's pretty clean. He doesn't really have too much kibble. It's really just these pieces on the back, which I kind of wish these weren't like this, but there's not really much you can do. I kind of like to flare them out a little bit. Head sculpt looks really nice. I like the look of this quite a bit. Got some silver trim here. Nice blue for the eyes. The orange really pops. I think that looks good. You have the same orange down here for the robot chest, which is going to be the bottom of the front of the car there. And then there's overall, you have some more orange down here on the thighs, the shins, and the feet. I really like the accessory he comes with. He has this one gun. It's got some nice blue on it as well. And you can see he just holds that in the hand very easily. So we'll take that out, just put that off to the side. Articulation-wise, head is on a ball joint. You can look up fairly far, look down fairly far, uh, spin side to side. Doesn't really have any side to side head tilt like that but he can certainly look side to side no problem there uh you have this ball joint in the shoulder so there's kind of a hinge here where the arm connects to the torso and then there's a ball joint in the actual shoulder so you have pretty good range of motion with that it's kind of like a reverse butterfly joint <laughs> goes up and down instead of in and out uh, but then you have a nice ball joint there you have a bicep swivel 90 degrees there in the elbow you have a wrist swivel you have a waist swivel which is very important for the transformation you have a ball joint here in the hip, kick pretty far forward, kick pretty far out to the side. Uh, you can kick pretty far back, but then you start to run into this kibble back here. You have a thigh swivel. Now with the knee, you do have kind of a full 90, but I feel like these wheels here on the side kind of get in the way. And I've tried to kind of, you know, turn them more so that they clear. And if you kind of hold it out to the side, just kind of, because this little bit of like thigh armor gets in the way. But you can kind of get a full 90 there. But if you don't do that, then it kind of stops at about 45. Uh, with the ankles, we have a lot of stuff going on. So we have this piece here that kind of moves. That's really for the transformation. Then you have a hinge right below that. And then you have an actual ball joint for the ankle itself. So he's kind of got three weird points of articulation there. Two of them are really for the transformation. The ball joint is really what you want to utilize for the robot mode. But they're there if you want them. But overall, I think the robot mode looks pretty good. Like I said, not too bad with kibble. Fairly clean. I really do like the color scheme. I think all that orange really pops. I love the head sculpt. Really nice paint on that as well. And then these pieces are really just kind of what bother me. But you can kind of move them up a little bit out of the way. So they're not too bad. But yeah, overall, I think he looks pretty good. Alright, so getting into the transformation, the first thing you have to do is come over here to the backpack, flip this down... And then you can flip out these little pieces here, which doesn't seem like that important of a step to start out with, but you kind of have to do that because if you don't, uh, you won't be able to spin the waist around. That allows you to push this even further against the back, and that will give you clearance because otherwise you run into hitting this piece down here. 
Honestly, I kind of almost like the look of having those up. So that's another option you have. If you kind of like the look of that, you could just leave them up all the time. Uh, but you're going to spin the waist around 180 degrees here. Then you're going to spin the thighs inward like this. And then we're going to come around to the back. We are going to fold these wheel pieces down like so. All the way in there. And then this is where it gets weird with these pieces here for the like super ankles that we got going on. So you have to uh, flip this out. And then there's a little piece here that also flips out. And then that will allow you to bring this all the way up like this so that the foot kind of touches the kneecap. And then fold this up even more. And then you can rotate it towards uh, the left on that ball joint. So you're going to bring this around. And then you can see that there are uh, little tabs that are going to tab in here. So just kind of line this up and then that will kind of click into place like that. And then you want to just push the little spoiler piece up and then this will kind of just... I guess this stays up like this. They're not quite connected because you can kind of bring this down a little bit. But that does kind of push. You can see how it has that little piece that kind of pushes the spoiler up where it needs to be. So just bring that all in. And there you go, that's one side done. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We are going to bring this up past. Bring this. This will flip up in that little piece. Whoops, I have it stuck. There we go. Flip that out. Rotate this around. And then that'll clip in there. And I'll be honest with you, these things fall out a lot for me. But you just pop it right back in. And that'll kind of keep that up where it needs to be. And then you can go ahead and peg these together. And I also had trouble getting the two spoiler pieces to hook together. You can see how they kept wanting to do that. You kind of just have to push them and get them to be where they need to be. And then that's kind of the whole back of the car finished there. At this point, we need to grab a hold of this section. You can kind of see where the colors differ. It's very uh, minuscule in terms of the different shades, but you can see this is a lighter gray and this is kind of a gunmetal gray. So this is going to pop out and you kind of need to make sure the arms aren't becoming a problem. Kind of pull these two pieces out to the side and then lift all of this. Oh, we need to rotate the head around 180 degrees and tilt that up. And then this should... If you can get it past the arms, come up like that. This piece will come out, and then these will fold out to the side like that. Make sure the arms are out of the way. Let me zoom out a bit here. So you want to kind of get these wheels as much, the wheels, the sides, the windows, out of the way as much as possible. Because the next thing we have to do is kind of bring this piece up and spin it around. So we need to bring this up and spin it around like so, like that. And then this will kind of drop this down so that you can pop this into place and line up all these panels. Come on, click on, there we go. So you can see this is starting to take shape, kind of push that down a little bit. Then you're going to flip... Oh, I missed a step. That's probably why it's yelling at me. These need to flip out. And that gives you more clearance. Let me bring this out. Flip out this little panel here like this. And then we can bring these down and peg these against the body here. And again, it's just more lining up panels. So pop that all in there. So you can see the vehicle mode is definitely taking shape here. Now we're going to bring the arms in. And you can see that there is a little pinhole right there. And then there's a little tab right there. And there's a little clear tiny peg right there. And then a clear tab right there. So you're going to bring this in. I find it easier to kind of rotate this at about 90 degrees just to get it out of the way. And then you're going to bring this in. And you kind of have to clear this panel. And then bring this up. And all of this is going to tab together. And this can be a little easier said than done because you're kind of tabbing in like three things at once. 
but we have to bring this in here and it really can be kind of a pain but once you're done it's very secure so you can see there that that's really nice and pegged in tight because it has those three connection spots so we're going to do the same over here kind of get this past the panel and then bring this up let me zoom out a bit here so you can see uh, bring this in and again i like to get this out of the way and then we can start dropping this all in and pegging that in there and then we're going to bring this section up here in the front this is going to come up and fill this all in like that and you can see that that's the entire front of the car and then the last step is to just bring this panel around and you have to clear a little bit and then just kind of tab this all in and bring this around and tab that all in and there you go there is your lamborghini mode so it can be a little fiddly i'll admit but once you get it in the lamborghini mode it looks really great it's got a lot of panel lines as you can see because there were a lot of panels to move around and there's some clearance issues mostly kind of when you're bringing the arms in to peg them in kind of have to force past a few panels and things like that but it really does look good when you're done and it's nice and solid i really do appreciate as much of a pain as it is to get these arms in on the side because they have those three connection points they're solid they're not going anywhere uh, and i had a little bit of difficulty getting the legs up the first time but again, once that's all pegged together, that's pretty solid. You really don't have a ton of robot kibble here underneath, which I really appreciate. And the chest is, again, a lot of panel lines here because of the way the pieces go, but it looks nice. I love the orange details. You have those stripes around the little kind of pinstripe detailing with the orange, but I think that looks really good. Rolls pretty well. It's just a solid looking vehicle mode and it's very solidly held together, which I really appreciate. You can take the gun and it does have this kind of rectangular peg on the side and you can peg it in on here. I think that looks a little goofy, but if you want to give him a gun while he's driving around, you can absolutely do that. So yeah, all in all, it's a really solid, sleek-looking Lamborghini alt mode, and I like it a lot. Definitely has a lot of panel lines, and it's a little fiddly to get it in there, but once he's transformed, it's really nice and solid. I like Hot Rod a lot. I don't think he's quite perfect, but there are definitely a lot of positives that outweigh the negatives. I really like the color scheme. I think the gunmetal gray and the orange is a really cool color scheme. I like the face sculpt. I like the pop of blue for the eyes and on the gun. I think overall that color scheme really works. I think the robot mode looks pretty clean. You know, the backpack really does compress pretty nicely against the back. Not a huge fan of these weird kibbly pieces here. You have a couple options. You can bring them all the way down. If you like that a little bit better, you can bring them out to get them a little bit out of the way. I don't love these wheel pieces here. I feel like they get in the way of the knee articulation. I wish there was something a little better to be done with those. If they were a little lower, then you could have just folded them back under the knee, and I feel like that would have been better. Um, the whole ankle assembly with like the multiple ankle joints is a little weird, and I think because the ball joints on mine are so tight that most of the time when I'm trying to move the foot, I end up moving one of these other pieces that I don't mean to. Not a huge problem, just a bit of an annoyance. Uh, but for the most part, I really do think that the robot mode looks good. Transformation's a little fiddly. There's a lot of panels to line up, and there's some things you kind of have to push past to make sure the clearances aren't 100%, but they're not bad. And I will say the Lambo mode that you're left with is really, really solid. It looks really great. It holds together really well. Uh, pegging those arms in is a little annoying, but since it has kind of three connection spots per arm, they really do peg in solidly, which I really appreciate. So overall, I think this guy is pretty good. Definitely an improvement over the original one we got during the last night. Uh, it's a pretty solid little guy. I think he's pretty cool. Love the color scheme. Love the robot mode. Absolutely love the vehicle mode. Uh, not perfect. Like I said, a couple of 
articulation hindrances and kibbly bits, but for the most part, pretty clean robot mode and a uh, little, little difficult at first. I feel like once you do it once or two, three times, transformation gets easier and you know exactly what to do and when to move things, but it's a little bit of a process at first, just making sure you get the clearances right. But that Lambo mode, when you're done, looks phenomenal. So did a really nice job with that. So I still think he's worth picking up. I definitely think you should check him out, especially if you didn't pick up the original. But even if you did, this one's definitely an improvement over that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.